नमस्कार एंड वेलकम आई यथा सिक्का इन द नेक्स्ट फ्यू मिनट विल बी गेटिंग इन द टॉप 24 न्यूज ऑफ द लास्ट 24 फोर आवर्स जौहर अली एंड आयुब खान अबडक्टेड एंड मर्डर जयवर्धन कुमार ऑफ बिहार किलर्स विड्रू लैक्स फ्रॉम डिसीज अकाउंट एंड थ्रू हिज बॉडी इन ब्रह्मपुत्र ताब एट फिजिकल इंटरकोर्स विद अदर वुमेन इन मेहरोली फ्लैट्स आफ्टर मर्डरिंग श्रद्धा इन सेज दिल्ली पुलिस चौकिंग श्रद्धा टू डेथ वॉज इजी गेटिंग रेड ऑफ हर बॉडी वॉज लेस सो Aftaf conceded the cops during questioning. His favorite TV show Dexter helped him plan disposal meticulously. The father of Shraddha Walker excluded hope that his daughter could still be traced and said that he wanted a death sentence for the accused. The development relates to a spine chilling incident that jolted the nation, outlining discrepancies in his daughter's living partner Aftaf's confession to the police force. The father of the deceased said that facts are yet to be confirmed. Aftab who is accused of killing his girlfriend Shraddha and chopping her into pieces has been taken to Mehroli forest area to search for victim's body parts and mother weapons he dumped the body parts of his living girlfriend Shraddha Walker after strangling chopping her into 35 pieces and storing them in a 300 liter fridge for several days Shraddha's friend Rajat Shukla said that he was hoping that she would be safe but after hearing the details of the grisly murder he suspected a bigger conspiracy Shraddha was strangled to death then chopped into pieces by her boyfriend Aftab who is currently in the police custody. During his address at the G20 summit PM Narendra Modi underlined critically of resilient supply chains for food fertilizers and energy and the need for affordable finance for smooth energy transition for the global south. Chennai city police on November 15 conducted searches at houses of people who were allegedly suspected to be Islamic state sympathizers. The search are being carried out in various location across Chennai and its outskirts. West Bengal Chief Minister Mamata Banerjee tendered an apology on behalf of his minister Akhil Giri who drew widespread criticism for making controversial remarks about President Draupadi Murmu. I apologize for what my MLA said about the president. My party has already apologized and I respect the president a lot says Mamata Banerjee. To develop crew skills and enhance weapon synergy Indian Army Sena Marni Brigade held an annual firing camp of infantry support weapons and conducted joint weapon training the troop got exposure to massive firepower and battle in collision eight bodies recovered so far from the site at Madgura village in Mizoram's Nathial district BSF rescue teams was immediately dispatched and arrived as first response unit Residents of Vasant Kun sector C8 says that there is no water supply for the last 6 days. They are not dependent on water tankers which they get only after much effort. They also allege that their phone calls and online complaints to the Delhi Jal Board bore no results. The 18th edition of the Indo-US Joint Training Exercise Yudh Abhyas 22 is scheduled to be conducted in Uttarakhand this month. Exercise Yudh Abhyas is conducted annually between India and USA. with the aim of exchanging best practices ministry of defense informs boxing star mary com unanimously elected as the president of the athletic commission of indian olympics association olympic gold medalist table tennis player achanta sarath kamal elected as the vice president world population crosses 8 billion marks as per the united nation world population Prospects 2022 report India is projected to surpass China as the world's most populous country in 2023 it also suggests that the global population could grow to around 8.5 billion in 2030 with 177 million India largest contributor to global population milestone of 8 billion says UN report while China whose contribution to the next billion in the global population is projected to be in the negative People often say that it is a small world. This is true for India and Indonesia. Relations between both the nation have proposed over centuries says PM Modi at Bali. A Delhi court has granted bail to actor Jacqueline Fernandez in a 200 crore money laundering case linked to LS Conman Sukesh Chandrasekhar. The bail was granted to Jacqueline Fernandez after furnishing a personal bond of 2 lakh rupees and one sixth surety in the like amount. BJP spokesperson Shahzad Punawala initiates legal action against AAP MLA Naresh Balyan for associating his name with the Shraddha's murderer Aftab Amin Punawala. In his tweet Balyan stated that the people on social media are questioning if Shahzad is related to Aftab Punawala. 
हरियाणा पुलिस एज अरेस्टेड सेवन एक्यूज इन्वॉल्व इन एन अटेम्प्ट टू मर्डर केस फॉर फायरिंग ऑन अ यंग मैन एंड वाल्मीकि चौंक इन तौहान एरिया ऑफ फतेहबाद डिस्ट्रिक्ट ऑन नाइन्थ नवंबर थ्री इलीगल पिस्टल फोर लाइफ कार्टेजेस एंड थ्री मोटरसाइकिल सीज फ्रॉम द पोजेशन National Human Rights Commission has taken Suo Moto consign of reports that a first year student of BBA LLB at IBS college in Shankarpali Hyderabad was raped brutally assaulted and compelled to raise religious slogans by a group of student on November 1 Delhi High Court dismisses Shiv Sena chief Uddhav Thackeray's plea challenging the election commission of India's decision to freeze the election symbol of bow and arrow Tihar jail superintendent suspended for giving special treatment to jailed aap minister Satyendra Jain the enforcement directorate has stated that Jain was being given foot massage and body massage while in the cell and he was being served fresh cut fruits and green salad directly in a cell by an unidentified individual Indian dairy giant Amul has become the Portuguese men's national football team's first regional sponsor in India the deal agreed with the Portuguese football federation covers the upcoming fifa world cup and runs until the end of 2023 india's overall import increased to us dollar 73 billion in october 2022 from us dollar 65.28 billion in the same month last year and its overall exports increased to us dollar 58.36 billion in october 2022 from 56.10 billion dollar in the same month last year We will be back with news at 9 tomorrow till then stay safe stay healthy and do not forget to like and share the video and subscribe to our channels